Hello, I'm FGX Tricat and welcome back to the video. So today is the day of 1.5 or the Aquatic Update Phase 2 and one of the exciting things about Minecraft Bedrock is it seems as though most of the updates they bring out also come with a brand new set of achievements and 1.5 is no exception. So there are four brand new achievements found in this update and although most of them are fairly easy to do, I mean we can all feed a dolphin fish right, there actually is one which is a lot harder than all the rest and I figured I'd give you a tutorial on how to get this hardest brand new achievement because it is a guide on how to make the conduit as well and the conduit is a brand new feature that you definitely are going to want to make at some point in your Minecraft world, so here is a brief guide on how you can do that. Hopefully you do all enjoy this video, make sure you like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like the Minecraft feature tutorials, but with that said let's get straight into explaining the conduit and explaining how it's gotten. So there's two or really three key parts to making the conduit. The first one is to get yourself some hearts of the sea. This is the arguably the easiest, arguably the most annoying part you can do because what you need to do is you need to find one of these underwater structures. So you can find a underwater ruins like this one, you can find a the underwater ship, you know, that's been shipwrecked. You can find anything underneath the ground, but as long as it has chests, those chests have a small chance of spawning with a, uh, you know, like a, with a underwater map in there, because you can see there's a bunch of wheat in here, there's an emerald, there's a fishing rod, you know, that's useful for later. Uh, but the key thing you want is the treasure map. The treasure map will then give you a location with a red X, and you need to go to those red Xs because a decent number of those will contain the heart of the sea. So let's get in our boat and let's go towards that, because that's the first of the components we're going to need. The second component you need is some Nautilus shells, which are gathered from fishing and from jam, we'll get more to that later, and the third component is prismarine. So basically, you need to master your oceans because you need to be good at killing drowned or at fishing, you need to be good at following these treasure maps, which is surprisingly hard by the way, and you also need to be good at, uh, you know, like finding an ocean monument, the third kind of part there, and I really love that the way the conduit works, because it is one of the most powerful underwater items in this update, is by combining three of the, you know, like major underwater things that you can do. So yeah, following a treasure map, like I said, it's reasonably hard because you might think, okay, it's as simple as finding the land masses that the map actually points out to, because although the treasure map seems like it's an easy enough thing, like just go to the thing, uh, the truth is, is that the X is really, really hard to pin down. In this particular case, it's going to drag me towards a really tiny island, so it's not going to be the hardest thing to do, uh, but it is worth mentioning that sometimes you can go insane looking for these. It takes a lot more time than you figure. You might figure like a minute per treasure map, but no, sometimes you can put in 10 minutes and still not find it, but in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our map again, because I just threw it down. Uh, I'm playing on the Switch, by the way, where the update came out first, uh, but yeah, basically you want to look around the island, uh, roughly where the red X is, and eventually you'll find yourself, uh, you know, a treasure chest like I have right here, and that treasure chest will most likely contain the Heart of the Sea. So, boom, that is how you find Heart of the Sea in Minecraft. This is the rarest and honestly the coolest part of the conduit. Uh, every single one of these will allow you to make a brand new conduit. However, it's not the only ingredient required. Also, you can see this other loot in here, like, ooh, regeneration potion and chain leggings, which will eventually be called chain mail. But, you know, there's all that cool stuff. Uh, but the other thing you're going to need is some Nautilus shells. So, Nautilus shells are something that you can get by fishing. It is a roughly one in, uh, you know, like uh, one in a hundred chance of getting a, uh, a fish every, si uh, sorry, getting an author shell every single time that you fish in Minecraft. And, uh, you know, therefore, like you fish a hundred times, you get one of these. You need eight of these, so you have to fish 800 times for a regular fishing rod, or you can use a Heart of the Sea fishing rod, which gives you about a double chance, so one in four, you know, about 400 fishes on average, or you can go and kill, uh, you know, drowns in Minecraft. So drowns have about an 8% chance of spawning with a Nautilus shell in their hands, and then if you kill a drown with a Nautilus shell in his hand, he has about a one in eight chance of dropping it, so it's like, okay, one in a hundred drowns might give you one. Uh, basically, finding these is just a real, uh, you know, kind of trog effort, like maybe is that one down there have one? No, he doesn't, but yeah, you should keep on uh, finding, uh, killing drowns until one eventually drops of these. By the way, uh, flying on the switch is hell because like there's no way to stop the invites so just we'll, we'll pretend they're not here for now. So yeah, you want to get the Nautilus shells, combine that with your Heart of the Sea from earlier and then if you do that in a crafting table you'll see that one of the recipes you can actually make is the Conduit. So the Conduit again is one of the coolest latest game items you can get in Minecraft right now. It looks like this and it seems super insignificant. Seriously, look at the size of this thing. It's literally, uh, you know, it's not even a full block size. This is a block of sand, this is a block of Conduit. Why does anyone care about the Conduit then? Also, I know you can't see my eyes right now. It's uh, it's it's hard to see, but we're just kind of working with it. The turtle helmet isn't built for the cat skin. But yeah, what, uh, what you want to do is you want to go below the water. You can do this above the water, but it won't work, and it also would defeat the point. So definitely go somewhere below the water. In fact, maybe go all the way to the depths and use your prismarine dark prismarine or prismarine bricks because you need to go to an ocean monument, like I said, and get some of these uh, blocks. You need at least uh, I think the exact number is like 25, but just bring a full stack just so you're safe. I've got a full stack of uh, prismarine right here, and uh, you want to make yourself a, a box around the conduit. So 
for now, for instance, what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, kind of place them slowly in the ground over here. And, uh, you know, for our example right here, you want to have your conduit be placed right here. So above a block, so there's a gap between it and the other blocks around it. So uh, there is a drown chasing me right now. <laughs> so you want to have it be placed like that. And then uh, have as many blocks as you can surround the conduit with a one block gap between them and it. So first of all, though, we're going to kill this drowned because if he had a, uh, a Nautilus shell, he'd have a, you know, a small chance of dropping it. Also worth mentioning, sometimes you can find Nautilus shells inside, uh, you know, chests when you're searching for the uh, heart of the sea, the sea, but it's worth mentioning it's just way less likely. So yeah, you want to surround as many blocks as you can, or sur surround your conduit with as many blocks as you can uh, on all the different sides, and once you hit a critical number, uh, again, the, the number is hard to pin down because like the, the corner blocks count, but once you uh, have a certain amount around it, it will activate and it will look like this. So you can see the conduit is the heart of the sea, the main internal item, surrounded by this external, like again, it's a nautilus shell, and uh, once it activates, it gives you eternally this conduit power. So the conduit power lasts for 12 seconds, but it goes for a really decent distance. The distance is increased by uh, adding more blocks to the conduit, so make sure you do that, by the way, too. But yeah, basically, uh, the conduit power is a really cool power that you get um, you know, from the conduit. So what is the conduit power? Well, first of all, it gives you the ability to breathe underwater. I think by itself, that's enough of a reason to use this. Like, underwater breathing, based on an item, rather than based on anything else, that's nice enough by itself. The second thing it gives you is the ability to break blocks underwater much easier. So again, I, given how much difficulty I had earlier, that's it's easy to see why you'd want this. As long as you're standing on the ground, you can destroy it like it's fine. So underwater terraforming is so much more accessible. Um, also, you get the achievement, which is the whole point of this video. But yeah, you really want to have these for a bunch of other reasons. The achievement's just the kind of the conduit for why you might want to do that. See, I'm terrible with these puns. Anyway, with that said, uh, yeah, conduit, one of the best things in Minecraft, has so many cool effects. I'm looking forward to doing these in survival, and over the next few days, you're going to see a few streams of me actually doing that. Because I have some hearts to see, I just need to get the Nautilus shells, I just need to get the Prismarine, and then I can join the ranks of people who have complete underwater control. Seriously, look at me, I'm just an underwater powerful person now. I have all this vision, I have all this power, and uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think being able to breathe underwater, see underwater, and mine underwater is a good enough reason to go through all three of these steps. It's one of the hardest items to make in Minecraft, uh, especially the hardest item in the most recent update, but it is still something that I totally recommend, and that's the reason I made this video. I, I don't make videos on things that I don't recommend, and conduits are something that I totally recommend. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like if you like it, share if you really liked it, subscribe if you're around here. We've no notifications turned on because I'm making a bunch of videos about the aquatic update. I'm super hyped to finally be able to play around with it. And honestly, most of, if I'm being 100% honest with you right here, most of my hype in this update is to do with the conduit, being able to finally have these in survival, being a true swimming underwater mastery. Uh, it's going to be fun, combining it with beacons even. Uh, lots of fun to be had, and you'll see more of that in the future. But for now, hope you all enjoy this video, because I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.